Oh, red squirrel. I don't know if I love this piece or hate it. Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to another edition of Borders on Budgets. On this episode, we're going to spend a quiet Sunday afternoon in the Museum Art Park located in central Moscow, Russia. Located beside the Moscow River, the art park contains over a thousand structures and perhaps the uh, largest and most monstrositous one of them all uh, would, be, uh, would be this guy. Most of the statues at Museon are not as large as Captain at the Helm and uh, there are about a hundred located in this small block. After the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, many of these statues that were otherwise glorifying communism were decommissioned by the Moscow City Council. Eventually, these pieces of art were assembled here at the park. Resplendent, surrounded by autumnal colors, this granite statue of Joseph Stalin is appropriately centered in front of a monument dedicated to the victims of the totalitarian regime. This 20-year-old piece remembers the villagers of rural Soviet Union as victims during the period of dekulakization and the collectivization of private property into state property during the 1930s. Eventually, many of these villagers became prisoners within the country's gulags and forced labor camps. Not all doom and gloom at the Museon Art Park. This children's playground set amongst the fall colors and falling leaves is not a scene one often associates with in Russia's capital. Lots of different sculptures at Museon Art Park. Here are four musicians. This little street has a row of busts commemorating Soviet civic and military leaders. Even Albert Einstein makes an appearance. Located beside Einstein is this bust titled Portrait of a Lieutenant. I guess by uh, not having to, uh, to name him, there are no residuals that have to be paid. Perched under this tree's rusting leaves, this place seems appropriate for a statue of Mahatma Gandhi. Even on an afternoon when the skies have been cloudy, if not darkened, the autumn colors of Russia's capital have certainly been vibrant. I don't think that worked. Oh well. This has been another edition of Borders on Budgets. A reminder. Borders on budgets, long distance hikes, slices of life, not a lot of money. From the Museon Art Park in Moscow, Russia, thank you for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. I suppose in the right light, Vladimir Lenin, the hammer and the sickle, and other symbols of communism can be made to look good. Did you like this episode? Great! Help Borders on Budgets grow. Hit the uh, subscribe button below, leave a comment, and uh, don't forget to share this video with your friends.